What's up guys and welcome back to another video. So behind me you see a canvas. <laughs> that's blank canvas so what i did before doing any of this is i just primed it first with gesso and then i put like some browns i used some of this pearl metallic color so i mixed that with a little bit of just regular acrylic brown and then i used that mixed with a little bit of this titanium white acrylic paint and i just kind of went ham on it and i kind of wanted to just give the canvas a little bit of a uh, paint underneath it so once I start putting oil paints on there they stick better to the canvas I've been doing a lot of thrift store shopping and whatnot and they have the most beautiful framed like artwork at these thrift shops and you can get them for the low lows and this, this thing is huge like this is a like <laughs> look at this like it's huge big old canvas and the reason that i am prepping this is for a commission we haven't gotten a commission in a long time so i wanted to do this commission for my buddy john i'm not gonna go too much into it i will do a little bit of the backstory behind all of that throughout the video but this is the intro sorry it's mad long it's probably gonna be a mad long video because i want to take more time in my long formed videos so yeah let's take a ride do a, what hopefully <laughs> hopefully yeah. just make this easy go me please <laughs> pretty cool fun easy going painting it's gonna be quite the feat because you know i haven't done a painting this big and detailed ever <laughs> so thanks for coming along for the ride let's get right into the video all right, so I went into Procreate and then I sketched out a blueprint of what I want to transfer over to the canvas that you're seeing now. Then we're going to use our trusty printer to print out a poster size so we can transfer it on with the carbon transfer paper. <laughs> Alright, so I'm not sure if this was a good idea or a bad idea, but I decided to pull an audible like right when I finished doing the outline. So I decided that I wanted to use some stencils and do go actual gold leaf because before I was thinking about doing some like metallic paint, but I decided to actually use the stencils with the gold leaf. Never done it before and uh, probably shouldn't be just trying new stuff on commissions, but that's what we're doing today. <laughs> So yeah, here's the process of me using the stencils for the gold leaf. Spoiler alert, I kind of like how it looks. You can see it in the background here. Let me get, let me get you guys a better look. I guess I did take footage of this too, but I kind of like the way it looks. I don't know what you guys think about the audible in the middle of the process, but now we can finally get into actually painting. Neka is a Nigerian-German singer-songwriter and activist who has been making waves in the music industry for over a decade. She is known for her soulful voice and powerful lyrics, which can often tackle social and political issues. Born in Wari, Nigeria, Neka moved to Hamburg, Germany at a young age. She began her music career in the early 2000s, releasing her debut album, Victim of Truth in 2005. The album was a critical and commercial success, establishing NECA as a force to be reckoned with in the music world. Over the years, NECA has continued to release powerful and thought-provoking music. 
Her album, Soul is Heavy, showcased her unique blend of soul, hip-hop, reggae, and feature songs that address issues such as corruption, inequality, and social justice. In addition to her music, NECA is also known for her activism. She is passionate and an advocate for social and environmental causes and has used her platform to raise awareness about important issues such as climate change and human rights. NECA is an incredibly talented singer and activist who has made a significant impact on the music industry. If you haven't already, I highly recommend you checking out her music and learning more about the important issues she's passionate about. All right, let's get back into this painting. Hey guys, so as you can see behind me, the thing's got its first layer all done, and now it's time to get into the details and all of that stuff. I'm gonna get in there, refine everything, and get everything ready to go. So this last part, I'm gonna speed it up, but we're gonna go in there and just finish this thing on up. So John and I, we go back. He was uh, like one of my best friends for a big part of my life. We played video games together. We used to make music together all the time and stuff. It was it was some of the some of the building blocks to who I am were made with this guy. He's a fucking cool dude. <laughs> John has always been a really interesting guy. He's <laughs> he's in his head, but people like that, like he even said it, he was like, uh, some people may look at it as a gift, but dude is a very analytical thinker and whatnot. So I was a little bit worried doing a commission for him because I was up there like, damn, is he gonna be like, like <laughs> ultra critical of the painting and stuff like that? Thank God he wasn't, he loved it, but yeah. John always had really good taste in music, like, you know, I've introduced a little rap to him. He's introduced a little bit of tool to me, uh, <laughs> a little bit of tool, a little bit of rock to me. But yeah, when it comes to rock, you know, tool is where it's at for me. Tool is my favorite, like rock band. And um, he also introduced me to some new stuff when he came and picked up the paint. It's some really cool stuff. I'm gonna leave the band, but oh, shit is mad dope you guys <laughs> but i'm really thankful for you john when you see the video i'm really thankful for one commission in the painting but two like relighting our friendship you know we took you know about 10 years where we hadn't seen each other or talked to each other and he just happened to follow me on instagram and said he liked my art and wanted a commission it was crazy because it'd been so long but you know it means a lot to me to uh, you know have this friendship again. I have so many people like that in my life that I've just, you know, made really big connections with that I haven't seen in forever. So uh, I guess the moral of this story is call your people, say what's up. You know what I'm saying? Tell somebody you haven't talked to for a long time, tell them you love them. Hang out, have a coffee, have a beer, give them a hug, you know, because uh, you never know some of them nostalgia feels and you know what I'm saying, that you had from being in really good relationships with the people uh, from the past. Yeah, they can come back and it, and it feels good and you know it's real, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's real friendship, real love and all that other mushy sh Man, whatever. <laughs> all right, guys, yeah. So yeah, as we finish up this painting, um, thanks again so much for coming out for this ride peace love guys and yeah we'll just wrap this thing up <laughs>